Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hello, Quilty Watchers. My name is Mary Fonz, and this is my mother, Mary Ann Fonz. Hello, Quilty Watchers. Yes, we um, love doing shows together. We lecture together around the country. We just got done yes, with one yes. in St. Louis. Yes. And, four uh, days of content. Four days of content. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give you some great content for inspiration. A lot of times, you know, kids, when they're in school, they're like, teacher, teacher, what do I write about? And then, and also, you know, new beginner, new beginners mm -hmm. um, say that too. You know, how do I, you know, there's so many different patterns to choose from? What do I do? What if I want to make something from scratch? So mom, you're going to talk to us about a great resource for inspiration. Anti Absolutely. Anti but first, let me just say one thing for those of you that are beginners. Yeah. It, you, you know, we're in the uh, business of writing step-by-step -step how to to make this quilt or that quilt. Mm -hmm. And that's a safe place to be. It's a great way to learn. And you can spend your whole life, you know, um, using kits, using patterns that are out yeah. there, using the kind of books we write. But when you want to do something else, you know, some people might wonder, where do you go? Yeah, like this one. Just had to give you this. <laughs> this is a great book that's just oh, out. Oh, sure, sure, really sure. Great. There's lots of great stuff in that. But, you know, as someone who's, who's been a designer of quilts, and you are too now, it's like, well, how do you just come up with an idea for a quilt? Right. So, I mean, here's an antique quilt. It's a pretty simple log just cabin. just a top. Just a top. Someone else didn't finish it's mm -hmm. someone's unfinished project right. but you know you can get inspiration on colors on fabric choice and that from an antique quilt in your family or one you might get at a flea market yes. that's one place exactly and sometimes it's the whole quilt and you can look at it and be like yeah I love the block size there or I love how they set it this is a straight furrow mm -hmm. setting I think um or I love shirtings I want to buy some more shirtings right and sometimes you'll just get plain blocks any you know any of this can be helpful um for you to take a look at it. You know, you'd be like, oh, I never thought to put burgundy and red together. Or I want a awesome. gingham center. Right. Something like that. Exactly. But an absolute treasure trove of uh, inspiration and one that is basically copyright right, free, which is important for us that are in the biz, yes. is collections of quilts. Like I brought some books from my library. These are books that um, each one of them is from a, a, a estate's quilt research project where a group of people uh, in that <clears throat> excuse me in that state went out and documented uh, pre-19 whatever quilts in Iowa it was pre-1930 quilts and so there are photograph after photograph of fantastic quilts that you can draw inspiration from I'm gonna just open this book to one I just opened to this morning mm -hmm. you know like here's a detail mm -hmm. of a quilt and um, the quilt itself. And you might look at this and think, oh, I want to do this, this star with the, in this hexagon shape. Uh, I want to draft that pattern. I want to set a quilt like that. I want to use those colors. Mm -hmm. And so my advice is, you know, get a set of little um, repositionable sticky tabs. Yes. And lots of the books in my library at home are full of them. Yes. And here's one. And <laughs> look at all those tabs. One, one thing I want to say about the stars and the hexagons not an easy thing to draft or to make necessarily. It may not be a first project kind of thing. But uh, first of all, there's a Quilty episode on drafting. So go Look search that on Quilty. And it's I think it's you and me and Rebecca. It might. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, one of the first seasons we did. So there's resources there. And, um, and also... Yeah, if you just take the colors from that quilt, I do a webinar series that you can get at fonsandporter.com, Color Me Quilter. I help you pick fabrics, and we use old quilts, antique quilts, as inspiration yes. for today's palettes. Yes. Super, super helpful, so check that out. You'd really like it. So here we go. This is New Jersey quilts. You can find these books probably if they're out of print. You know, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them on eBay, and you can use these as your own inspiration. Here, this quilt, the, the neat thing about these pictures of completed quilts from the 19th century mostly is that you get to see the quilt in its entirety from perspective and it's all finished and you can look at it and say 
it works. You can right. decide whether it works or not. For you, you might hate hate one of these things. You yeah. see, I see quilts all the time, and I'm like, meh. But yeah, look that, at this. Look at this tree of life. How can you not yeah. love it? So and and so, you know, if you don't have these books on your library shelf, uh, uh, Google Quilt Index. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, a a website that has quilts, visuals of quilts from. Um, museums and collections all over the United States. So you can just, it's just like eye candy yeah. to look for inspiration. And you know, I like those sites, I'm gonna say it, way better than Pinterest. I mean, people are into Pinterest, but you get small images of these quilts sometimes. And you know, these are these books. I'm gonna I'm gonna be snobby now, but they're made they're made by quilt historians who like know what's representative of a time, what's the best quilt of that particular example. I mean, there's a lot of really great tree everlasting quilts, but this one, you know, is in here for a reason. Yeah, they're so, curated. In, yeah, in a they're way, curated. they're curated. And also, uh, by going to here or to say the Quilt Index, I think it's quiltindex.com or quiltindex.org is that you know what museum owns this particular right. quilt. And so it gives you a context and who knows, you might be going there and you might get to see that quilt in person, which it just yes. adds to your education in uh, quilting. Mm, we could talk about this all day, but uh, another thing too is if you know where the quilt comes from, you know, if it's Pennsylvania, you might start to learn that Pennsylvania quilts, often the Pennsylvania Dutch use the same color schemes, bright yellows, bright reds, bright blues, and you'd be like, I am totally a Pennsylvania Dutch repro quilt maker, what? And you'd figure that out, by researching these antique quilts, you can find your groove. Even more, uh, there's the Perkyoman Valley in uh, Pennsylvania and a certain split nine patch, we could probably find one, these are not Pennsylvania books, but there's a certain type of block that the, that community made over and over again oh. with many variations. So it adds to your knowledge because the background is there. Right, and that's one of the things as we kind of close this show, there's so much to talk about, but that's one thing that Quilty has already uh, always, uh, we've striven, striven? Yeah. We strove, mm -hmm. we strove to do this. We strive constantly. We strive constantly. <laughs> to give you history stuff to frame the American quilt making story because you're a part of it and I fully believe that the more you know about the past the more you connect with the stories that come with the quilts and who we are as quilters the more passionate you'll be about what you do and the more you'll have every quilt you make be a love affair I couldn't agree with you more Mary I know well I hope <laughs> um, check out HeyQuilty.com and QNNTV.com for all kinds of great episodes uh, gosh there's gonna be like 250 when we're done with the shoot I know okay have fun bye bye see you next time Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines. From piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread. Perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella. A unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together we can make beautiful things. Hovels Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovels Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.